Hello everybody, this is Els, Elizabeth Crafty Science. How are you doing? Live from beautiful, beautiful Colorado today. I am going to see if people come in. Need to wait for a second. I have a nice cup of tea here for my throat. Mm. Let's see. Oh, I see people coming in. I'll just wait a second. Hi, hi, Inga is here. Um, let's see. Yeah, I see you coming in. So um, what I'm going to do. Hi, Rick. What I'm going to do. I am going to work with the new food truck. Hi, Terry, Debbie. Hi. It's just afternoon here. Uh, not even. <laughs> it's still one minute before 12, I see. Um, hi, Kim. Don't we have gorgeous weather? Kim is in Colorado as well. Don't we have gorgeous weather today? And I am going to suffer because of that, I have to say. I just, uh, I, I'm right after this, I'm going to get my hair cut. And that's actually on the mountain, like uh, back on the mountain where I, uh, where we used to live. And that's where all the ski traffic, and it's a long holiday, a long weekend here. So all the people will start driving on the, like towards my hairdresser, <laughs> which will be horrendous. M maybe I'm just in time, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, people that know Colorado, the I-70 will be stuck probably already. And then people, as, as an alternative, they take the 285, and that's where we lived on, and that's going to be stuck as well. So uh, I hope I will make it. Hi, Terry, as well. And uh, Sandra, I saw David as well. Oh, Alberta is also beautiful. That's where you is. Hi, Marga. Hi, Annie. And um, what I'm going to do, I don't know if Katie is here already. I'm actually going to oh katie there you are you're just popping up on my screen <laughs> we call this the what i'm creating is a small katie's coffee truck so uh katie i uh, i literally cut all the pieces just smaller like a small truck because i loved your truck and i, I didn't have a coffee truck yet so i thought that's what it needs to be so uh uh what do we have to say beter goed gestolen dan slecht gemaakt of zoiets i don't know in dutch like uh so basically i'm stealing uh i'm stealing katie's ideas but uh, it's online already oh sylvia i had a big laugh did you see sylvia did you see your food truck like your uh, grocery truck is online <laughs> i don't know if you saw it i was i was looking for pictures and then i noticed that um and and anya is here as well so she she will not know what i so anya the, that uh truck you posted with the groceries on the back the fruits that's actually the blog post from uh, from uh, uh, Sylvia for in March. So I was not going to make a truck with fruit and vegetables on it because of uh, because of Sylvia's truck. And now Anya posted it. So I had a good laugh about that, I have to say. Oh, uh, Annette, your sample stamps are stuck in Kentucky. I just found that out. Uh, so Annette is working with her. Her dyes are there already, her sample dyes, which are fabulous. Uh, but her stems got stuck. But uh, so Tuesday, hopefully, on it. Yeah, I just found that out. So, uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do, uh, like, comment and share, of course, for a chance to win the $50 gift certificate. I'm going to take a zip from my... F oh, look, look what I'm just... You see, that's right, you know. Here, look. Isn't that a cool... It is, it's probably watercolor wets on that cup. Isn't that super cool? I'm just noticing that. This, this makes me happy and this makes me happy. That cup just makes me happy. Josette has one as well with different... Um, it's from the UK. It is what brand it is. Uh, it is uh, Dunun. Dunun. D-U-N-O-O-N. Not cheap, but I enjoy this every day. And some things mm, just makes me happy. And like a nice cup could make me happy. Okay, so um, yeah. So what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my camera around. And then I'm going to quickly show the samples again. Because some people might have missed that. And uh, then... That's that's the ceiling, and those are the trucks. Don't press anything else. I need to get Joseph over for a switchy thing or something. I don't know. Oh, shoot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I said it nicely. I thought something else. And then I need to turn my iPad around so I can uh, see you as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As... That's that. Let me see if I can see you. And the comments. Yeah, there we are. Oh, the sound is probably still on. Yes, it is. Oh, just in time. Just in time for that. Okay, click on that. There we go. Alrighty, from New Hampshire. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Karen, Teresa. Yeah, 
Oh, Katie, that mug is so nice. Josette has a different shape. I bought it in, Co in Kenmore, but that store is not there anymore. But um, yeah, I love it. But it is watercolor and it really matches the colors from our color palette from our uh, watercolor. <laughs> I know, but I, I say shoot, eh? You know, <laughs> I did it nicely. <laughs> no, no, I did. No, then I want to put it in my stand and then it's. Uh, wait, I need to turn it a little bit. Oops. Um, yeah, so the truck. And of course, no. <laughs> I know. No, that's not, you know, I, I did double O, so it was not that bad. You see, I have my uh, really nice uh, logo blue uh, tweezers and scissors as well. Love those. I They find, you know, they feel so nice. It's I love them. I love them. Very careful. Okay, so we have the food truck from your set and Sylvia, of course. So for the people that didn't hear the story on, uh, what's today, on Wednesday, um, uh, Sylvia had the idea for the food truck. And then um, I said, don't post it. So we're going to make that into a die set. And, uh, and then Josette and Sylvia worked together on the idea. And this is what it became. And uh, I asked you for ideas on, um, on Wednesday. And uh, we have so many ideas already. So uh, it's going to be super fun. Super fun. Hi, Shelly from Northern Idaho. So the truck itself, it's, and I will show you all the, oh, oh, oh don't want to lose this. Um, so uh, what you have is so your truck. This is the uh, t uh, bottom part, the top, the uh, how do you call bumper, bumper, bumper. Hmm, I don't know bumpers for at the bottom. It's not a bumper here. Uh, wheels, uh, the window uh, for around the window, the air conditioning, tablecloth on the picnic table, and then the board that you can uh, print on as well. Like put something on there, stamp something on there. Yeah, uh, blue. Uh, yeah, as well. Yeah, fem, correct, yeah. And then here the the horn, the mirror, uh, the handle and the light. And that's to put your uh, bigger things on, like from these ones. So that's the truck set. And then, um, and they're going fast. It's fun. They, they, you know, you love them. And that is fun to see. And then, of course, uh, the accessories. So you have the hamburger with everything on there. You have the bread basket, the hot dog. Uh, the ice cream, small hot dog, sprinkles, pretzel, large donut, ice cream, small ice creams, uh, cones, uh, small donut, fries, coffee maker or an ice maker, um, ketchup, mustard or mayonnaise, whatever you want it to be. So that's all these accessories. And then we have the stamp sets. Into a recipe box. Oh, okay, Belinda, so two, and then, uh, you know, that's another great idea. So we're all the new, those twenty adults is doable, right? For sure, Femke, no. <laughs> it was a lot, it was a lot, but some are, uh, you know, we're on the list already. And uh, so uh, just wait and see, wait and see. It will be a while, but but uh, we will sure do an add-on for that. Uh, so this one, that is the stamp set, the good food, good mood. Yeah, at least 20. <laughs> Yeah, so the congratulations, treat yourself, the coffee beans, going to try to put some of my small uh, ones as well. Life is better with ice cream. So just uh, like that uh, fits, that fit the, uh, that fit the set. And then what I did with, um, and I know I was talking to Michelle, I think Michelle had a customer that was a scrapbooker and said, you know, uh, uh, I'm a scrapbooker, so uh, I don't need this. And then Michelle says, yeah, yeah, you do. And of course she did. But um, so then I thought, okay, because Anita made two sets that are kind of with all the accessories. So, and she posted this one herself already. So what I did is, do I get that in the screen? Oops, this one. I'm not a scrapbooker at all. So don't, don't, you know, I made some photo mats. I have no idea what I'm doing, honestly, because I am not a scrapbooker. Do you see it all? Did I get everything in? Well, let me, let me slide this over a bit. But you see, so uh, what I did is I put the truck here with the florals. Made kind of a road, the idea of a road. Then I uh, put these here, this here, and then here I have the picnic table. How cool is that? Isn't that cool? If you're a scrapbooker, but I also, here we sell, here they sell those frames. So this can also be super cute for a kid's room, like or in my craft room. If you buy two of those square frames and you, uh, you just put pictures in there. How cool is that? So for the scrapbookers, uh, of course, I use the planner for pictures because I, you know, this has never been, honestly, I love this, but I've never been a scrapbooker. Just not my thing. Too large, 
too large for me. It's to work on. So, but I know people that do that do that for years and years and years and years. Okay, quickly the other samples, and then we're going to get started. So uh, I just have them in a box here. Oh, is it Robin? Thank you. <laughs> you know. What? Oh, Teresa, they are. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> That's the best compliment. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, yeah. Of course, Cindy. The dyes and the and the stamps are great for scrapbooking as well. That's for sure. I I love. I just me as a crafter, and it's honestly true. That's not. I don't like electronic cutting just because. First of all, I like how dyes round the paper. I really like the look of the rounded edges, and I want to be crafty. So I want to crank that machine. I also don't have an electric die cutting machine. I want to crank that machine. I want to walk around in my in my uh, craft room and find paper and die cut. And that's just what I love to do. So, but it's just, just me, of course. So this one, and I told you, you can uh, attach them at the top. All you can do is this one. Oh, and this one was copied, uh, again, credits to Jackie. Uh, and I know she posted one herself already, one of the ones. And I, I still forgot to ask, did you use an embossing folder uh, on yours, Jackie? I probably missed your answer, but... Um, like, you have those lines on there. Is that the paper, or do you have an embossing, or do you did it with a scoring tool? I, I wanted to ask that, because Jackie posted one with sprinkles, and then um, and then she has um, lines in here. So I want to know if that's paper. I know, Cindy, that's exactly, exactly. I just, and I just love how professional the, 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 the rounded edges look when you die cut. Yeah. Uh, so this one. That uh, still needs the accessories in there. And this one is attached at the back. So you can just flap it open like this. And this one is from uh, Sylvia. The bread one. And I actually, I'm working on a... I do have my bread basket ready already. Because I still need to do that one. For sure, where's my little basket? Because I made a cute basket already. If I only knew where it was. It's in here. It's in my little... Oh, here it is. You see, so I have my bread basket already. Put a little piece of twine around it. Just fun to work with. And then I know, uh, so this is cork, the full core one, the rye, rye, do we call it rye? I didn't know this week, but yeah. So uh, that's from um, uh, Sylvia. And here she used, so here you can see, so that awning, you can do uh, like this. So it folds like this, stands out. And only if you want a small part, you can just make it flat as well. And then uh, what Sylvia did here, she used the indented squares or rectangles. And then she put a little kind of almost like a rack, a bread rack behind it. So the bread kind of resting on that rack, how you have it in the stores, basically. Yeah, love that one. That's my burger and fries one. I really like that one because it's, uh, you know, I think, uh, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> some food trucks you have uh, are, are black. Sometimes I see a black one. So like that. And then this one I started, it's not finished yet. So it's going to be uh, another one. That I just kind of started earlier on Wednesday. Whole grain. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is from Anita. Uh, that's the donut one. And she stands on the top here. Love that. I love that. Ice cream. And then Anita. Oh, Anita also attached it to the top here. Love that with the small donuts on there as well. The burgers and fries from uh, Anita. Need to fold this up you see that it's an awning like this of course i flatten them like that cooler love it love it love it only have black screen no sound penny uh if, if it's not working it, it's sorry it has to i think it's your internet then uh this goes to youtube so if you go to the elizabeth craft designs youtube channel and of course subscribe to the channel right away that would be appreciated but um all the lives go to YouTube as well and it also stays here. So you can also watch back later. Because these are definitely not in black and white. Then Mar Marie Claire would be on. If Marie Claire is on, it would be black and white. But uh, not uh, when, I, when I... So this one is uh, from Sylvia as well. She used a little part from the back here, you see, to put ice creams in, which is cool. Then this one is from Sylvia. Love that. And then you can open this. And it says, you deserve a hug. How cool is that? It's from another stamp set. I'm pretty sure it's from the bears. Uh, came with the bears. And the little nurse here. That is a dress from. Ooh, I don't know. But she made. I know this hat is from our uh, Asian uh, thing. And then a little girl and a dress. Yeah, you, you can mix and match, of course, all the clothes. And uh, so super cool. And then the um, jail truck here. 
So that one is going to jail. Super cool. Super, super, super cool. Okay, so those are the samples. And what I promise to show you is how to create the small truck. So I did cut the parts, but I'm going to show you the small truck, like how I do that. Um, so the table is going to wobble a little bit here because that's how it works. But you see, so this is an A2 uh, size, uh, card size. You see, and it will fit. This is an A2. So th this is A2. And this is how it fits on there. So it's just, it's a perfect fit. And any size you want to do, of course, if you just uh, cut, cut your card base. So this is basically the A2 size card. Oh, Mrs. Claus, I thought about that. Uh, thank you. Yeah, so this one is uh, the A2 size card. And uh, then you can just measure your tr truck on there. And that's then it's going to work. So I have one already. I'm going to just push this away, make sure I don't lose anything. And then for this part, so the rest I cut already, but I'm going to show you how I did this. And then um, just to give you, uh, you know, let you know how to do that. So basically what I'm going to do, and it's simple, of course, I'm going to take my truck. So in this ca uh, case, it's going to have a top fold. I think it's going to be harder. This is the way to do it because, or you can do a back fold probably if you want to as well, if you do it this way. Yeah, that will work as well, I'm pretty sure. But I did a top fold. But if you do a side fold, and you do what I'm doing now on this side, then you basically can do a side fold as well. I'm just realizing that. You see, I'm learning all the time as well. So what I did first, I'm lining this part up here at the top. So I'm just going to, like this needs to go over a little bit. And this goes against the cut line. So not on the cut line, again. So you see, so this is just going over here. And then I have that, let me see, am I correct? Yeah. And then I'm going to adhere, like, t take a piece of tape. And I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine because that's easier to show. And that's why I'm going to wobble a little bit. Normally I walk away and do that, but I think in this case, so I have my fold away here. My fold away. And um, I kind of eyeball it, but I know it will be easier for everybody to not make mistakes if you do... Uh, cut from, like uh, off the edge so you basically slide this plate in till here because i don't want to cut that window so and then you just push it th through you see now i'm going to wobble a little bit sorry i will try to do it carefully oh. <laughs> okay so that's that one i'm going to take it out put this away for a second it's coming back then, uh, so now I have the front, you see, so you just have a sliver here. And now I'm going to do the same on the back. So I'm going to line it up. Just uh, like, if I if I put it against this cut line, I'm good, because I need this round piece. That's what I want. So again, line it up at the top and against the back there. You can just lay, lay it just over it. That's fine as well, but... Yeah, I, I think that's what I did, because then I get that nice rounded edge there. Wait, I want to have it just over. Just over. So just a sliver over. Like that. Okay, and now I'm going to do exactly the same. So bringing back my die cutting machine. Putting this here, and now I only need this part, because you don't want to go to the window. So... Like this, and then run it through. Okay, so that's that. And now I'm done with my die cutting machine. Now I don't need it anymore. I'm going to put it safely away. Let's put my plates in here. So I don't drop anything, because that's always so noisy when you drop your plates. You see, so now I have this. And now you can see what I'm going to do. So, uh, and if you want to put this to the edge. So now I'm just going to take a craft mat. And I'm just going to line up. And I know that's how... Um, uh, oh, the, oh, Sylvia, your moving truck. Oh, my goodness. The moving truck is fantastic. Um... Yeah, and I need to, you know that moving truck, did you see Sylvia's moving truck? So if you go to the family page, it's there. And it is absolutely fabulous. And if you look at the uh, uh, moving truck, because I 
absolutely want to make one like that as well. But first I need to make a grocery truck because that's my dad's uh, thing. So, um, you see, so now I have that one. And I know Sylvia's moving truck, basically, she didn't cut the window in there. She also went in and out. I know that because she has it this high. Because if you look at a truck, it has this, it has this part on there. But it has this all the way in. So she did the same with this piece. Although, did you, Sylvia? Yeah, because you have your wheels there. Or did you trim this off? No, I think it's higher. I don't know exactly. But I'll figure that out. But if you look at that, I think it's higher. But I also uh, thought about this one. And then make it like a flat bed. Do we call it a flat bed truck? Yeah. And then, uh, uh, so I cut this already because that's in my head. So the top of this one is going... And I want to use that fence as um, like some. So I want to make a low, a low one, maybe in other colors. I, I don't know. And then use this part, you see, like this, and then put all the moving stuff in there. That kind of was the uh, was the idea. And then another one, if you I want to make a small one, what is super cute as well. Oh, I need to dye it with one more thing. If you want to make a small one, I thought this on the back would be super cute as well. And then trim that off or something. Like to put stuff in. So that's another. Uh, so uh, there's so many parts. And then of course for the truck that had. Uh, that uh, Anya spilled the beans from already. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm actually so happy somebody else did it now. In this case it's Anya. Who did that. Thank you Anya. <laughs> because I want to make with apples. and So a crate with apples. With uh, carrots. With uh, corn. With the pears. So, uh, so th yeah, you did the same as you with the bottom part. That's what I thought, uh, Sylvia. Yeah. But uh, how did you get the wheels in there then? I need to figure that out. <coughs> because the, uh, the window starts, sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. Since Brooks is on the kids on daycare and you have a cold all the time. Yeah, you could all, yeah, only be, make the trailer part. That's, uh, that's fantastic, of course, if you're a scrapbooker, for sure. That would be cool. Would be great for a scrapbook page with photos of your move. Yeah, exactly. That's what I had to think right away. And I tell you that I counted how many times uh, Joop and I moved since we were married. This is our 14th house. Our 14th house. And so I didn't even make it till uh, because we are married uh, a little bit over 40 years. So our, 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 uh, <laughs> our uh, kind of... We don't stay long, let's say that. I always, when I move, I think, oh, I'm never going to move again. But this is our 14th house. Yeah. But consider, like when we moved to, to Canada, uh, you know, for the company, it was, um, it was a move from the company. So we had a rental for a year and then we moved, uh, they moved us from Canada to California. So we were in that house. Yeah, the other one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So this is going to be this part, and then I have this one. So that's the window, and this is from. And you will have something similar. Uh, yeah, fourteenth. This is really our fourteenth house. So we moved from. Um, where did we start? In Masluis, Masluis, and then uh, Masluis, from Masluis to Belgium for a few years, six years I think, then uh, back to. Uh, Woudenberg there, and then a few houses there. Scherpenzeel, we live for a year, and then to Canada, and then to the US. Yeah. But still, who's first? Teresa, I'm in my first house only. Teresa, you know, moving makes you declutter a little bit. Although, don't I hope my uh, son-in-law doesn't hear that because he moved all my paper. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I use the smallest one from this one. So any rectangle you have, or you can make fun windows with that. Where do you want to live? Uh, you know, here, Susan. I need to live here because I always say this is the last time I move. So uh, I, I think I would maybe maybe like partial Canada and partial here. I don't know. I don't know. Because we have uh, our daughter in Canada on the most beautiful place. And Colorado and Mark is here and Daniela um, and the grandkids. So, you know, it's uh, so any. Yeah. Anywhere close to the kids. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Need to declutter. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Yona. How is your arm doing, Yona? How is your arm doing? So this one I'm going to kind of put on here. So I kind of see where that's coming. So kind of here. Then I measure. I, I want to have it straight, of course. So let's see about this. Straight. 
tape it down and i only want my window on the front and this is actually uh, not that wide so i can easily run it through my die cutting machine oh yeah you know you know you get used to it and and uh, a few we didn't need to do ourselves but and i think i told so the worst one was when we moved from um uh from um uh, vancouver to caroline which is in alberta if you look up caroline in alberta you will see it's a very very tiny town and um and that that move was when it was snowing and we were literally the last ones to go over the mountain with a trailer behind us we did it in two times we were absolutely nuts oh femke okay <laughs> 70 times is even worse, Femke. And you're much younger than I am, I think. So that's, you, you definitely, <laughs> but you know, it, you know, it's always, I always, when we make the decision to move, you know, you just do it. And then you're excited about the next house. No, that rectangle does not, this one does not come in the, no, this is from the, so, but you can match any, any rectangle die you have, because the one that's in the set is too large for me. I'll show you. Because, uh, but of course you can also do it with a ruler. If you don't have anything like this, you can just use a ruler and cut a window. But this one I found that just fits. But you see if this one is too big for the back here. So I cannot run this one through. So uh, I just use something, something else. But you can easily cut a window with any rectangle die you have. So um, that should be doable. Okay, let's start. I am, I'm, I might keep this here, otherwise I glue things to the table, maybe. Although, no, it doesn't look nice. I need a nice background. And I need a sip of my tea, sorry. Yeah, Belinda, you know, <laughs> I'll tell you that. So we had we had no, no four-wheel drive. We had, but I know I told this story before, no four-wheel drive. But there, were, there was so much snow, so there were walls of snow, walls of snow. So then I asked you all the time, can you still break? You, you try to break if it works, if we slide. But then basically the worst thing that can happen that you slide in, you know, you only slide to the side of the road, not even to the side of the road because the snow would hold us. So it was actually not that bad. You know, it was really bad, but I mean, big exit. We drove 30 kilometers an hour, like we almost standing still. Okay, so what I did now is uh, this one, I uh, trimmed on this, oh, I need to edge. Now we're going to trim first and edge. So this one I trimmed here on this line. There's just, uh, an embossed line there. So that's easy to follow. And then what I like to do, if you take your nail, because you know I like that rounded edge. So if I do this a little bit, it makes it a little bit rounded. I can't imagine moving. I've been in my house for 35 years. Yeah. You know, as, yeah, we just, you know, yeah, I don't know. It just, life happens. <laughs> and, and here we are. And we are in a beautiful place. So it's, yeah, it's, it's good. Life is good. Okay, so this one is going here. You see, and I'm just going to trim it a little bit underneath there. I'm going to use my paper trimmer for that because I, because that line might show up underneath there a little bit. So I want it to be nice. I'm not going to butt it up because I think that's harder to do. Oh, what did I do there? You see, I'm messing up already. What did I do? Where, where's my truck? Oh, no, I did. Oh, I did trim it lower. I'm going to trim this off. Okay. Okay, let's do that with my uh, craft mat then. I thought, okay, I'm, I'm messing up already. I'm messing up already, but I did not. Uh, so I actually did trim this off. So that's what, probably what I'm going to do with my flat bed as well. So like this. So you just trim this off. Like that. Then I um, need to do the same with this one. And what I did is I know I kind of lined it up like this from the bottom. Just did a little piece of tape here. Line it up so I have a nice straight line there. I'll tell you honestly, on the first one I did it more difficult. <laughs> this is easier. So I just had a a light bulb moment that this is easier oh, you only need to cut it straight of course better be good what i did yeah that's good hi andrea i know karen it's a beautiful collection it is a beautiful collection 
Okay, so now I'm measuring where I kind of, um, yeah, oh, this is, and I wanted to, and, and I, I keep working with this one during the weekends because I also want to cut it with, um, um, I know it, with, uh, on the page in a large square because I'm pretty sure if I fold it, it, it goes in a large square one as well. I can also do just the front on the page. So I have so many ideas in my head that I absolutely need the weekends to um, to kind of work on that. So this one, I'm just do a little zippy here and I'm going to trim that nicely with my knife. I'm talking too much. Uh, I need to have it done. Yeah, well, oh, uh, I'm talking too much. Talking too much. Okay, that's that. Now I'm going to edge because that's what Katie did. Eh? Because this is Katie's coffee truck. So... I hope I have everything in my head that she did. But look at the ideas. And then when, when you all get the sets in, um, I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Because it is so cool. This is really, if you're talking about a set, uh, just play. This is a set to just play. This is a set to just play. It is fabulous. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, Jessica. 1976. Oh, my goodies. That would mean I would never left my uh, my mother's house. That would, that would be dramatic. <laughs> my parents' house. I would be still living there because I was 15 then. <laughs> or my parents should have moved, but no. Caravan, yeah, for sure, yeah, probably, probably, that's why, you know, I cannot wait what you all come up with, and please, when you, when you have, uh, when you've done something, post it on the family page, so we can all see what you created, because it is so cool, okay, so that's kind of a rusty, uh, rusty look, so I made that line there, because that's kind of the fault line that you see here, I don't know if Katie edged this as well, no, it hardly shows up, so no, I think she didn't, Okay, so in this case, I will just use my wet glue for a second here. What a great kids book you could do with different... Oh, that is nice. One page truck and then like a, a little story behind it. That would be nice. So I have a... Um, wait, because I'm pretty sure... Oh, I don't have a full... Yeah, I do, I do have a full picture somewhere from my dad's... Uh, because I'm still, I'm finding still pictures to put in my, but I know I have one in here. Wait, 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 in my, this is actually Mark, Mark and my dad in my dad's uh, truck, in the grocery truck. But I know I have pictures. I will see if I can find one during the weekend. So you can kind of see um, what, what kind of truck my dad had. A green grocery truck. Okay. This, yeah, he really had a, uh, like in the, uh, like here if you go, so in the US we have farmer's markets, <laughs> and uh, you, you can, we kind of joke about it, about farmer's market, because we love to go, but then it's all like it's all organic and uh, very expensive. So you let's uh, you can always say, okay, let's go and pay uh, ten dollars for a tomato <laughs> because it's super fun uh, and very very funny things you find at the farmers market as well. But like it's all organic, it's all like very uh, you know small business of course. So it's fun to it's fun to uh, fun to go to. We love it. And we always buy something and then we say, okay, you know, it's it's fun. But in the Netherlands. This one, oh, okay. In the Netherlands, we um, like markets where really you do your groceries there. So like really your regular in the early days, it's still there. But like cheese you get at the markets. A lot of times nuts we always got at the market. Potatoes and vegetables and yeah. Will you show you? It's soonish. Silver film. Oh, okay. I'm missing stuff. I'm missing stuff. So the wheel, so that's a silver card. I will put these on right away as well for the back. Thank you, Mariana. 
Yeah, so you really did your uh, fabric. If you are a sewer, like if you like sewing, uh, you all like that was. Uh, we had one uh, on the market, and we called uh, with all the fabrics, and we called them loppy, loppy, and loppy means uh, you get your uh, basically your sheets of fabric there. So a loppy, a loppy fabric. So his name, is, I think we called that that man like loppy. The yeah. So it's. Um, Oh, Brenda, this is so much fun. Yeah, I know the, the European markets are, yeah. Every, we had it every Friday, every Friday in Masluis. And every Saturday morning. So Friday was a full day on the market. And then I went and helped after school. And then on Saturday morning, I uh, went with my dad to uh, Maaslands. Because then the farmer's market was in Maaslands. And that was only the morning one, I think till one. Love doing that. Especially with packaging, we need an easy way to keep up with it. Oh, okay. You know, that there's no catalog. There's no catalog, real paper catalog coming. We have ideas for the website. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know how that's working for us. We are not a, like a huge company. Yeah, th yeah, exactly. It's still, I love to go to the market still. I love to go. When I'm in the Netherlands... My sister always gets cheese still in the market for sure. It is not at lar as, as large as it was anymore. In um, Vlaardingen had a really big market as well. So I'm putting those wheels here because then you can stand it up. And of course if you want to decorate the back completely as well you can do that. Tuesdays and Saturdays. Yeah. yeah. I, I think in, uh, in Masluis it is Tuesdays in the Koningshoek. And on Friday it's in in like downtown in old in old Masluis. But Vlaardingen had a huge for if there's people from Vlaardingen they, they had a huge one. My uncle was there on the market on the market as a as a greengrocer. So my dad did Masluis and Maasland and my uncle uh, did um, uh, Vlaardingen. Okay, so now I want to uh, stamp because we have coffee beans. I'm going to try to get some on. Hi, Joseph. I'm going to... Oh, a flea farmer's market. That is cool. That is cool. We lived in Belgium for a while. For about six years. And we had... So then we went to Antwerp. Antwerp has the Vogeltjesmarkt. The bird market. I don't know if that's still there. Probably not. Is that market still there? Like live birds on the market? That's probably not happening anymore. Is it? Does anybody know if if uh, if Belgium still has their uh, markets? Like their, uh, it's called it's really called Vogeltjesmarkt, like the birds market. That's how it was called, honestly. So I'm wondering. Hi Joseph. Even online, one of the pictures could print off. Yeah, I know, uh, Jasmine. I, you know, we're always trying to improve, and nothing is perfect. I know. And I don't have time to eat after this because I need to go to the hairdresser. Okay, so I'm just going to try to get some of those beans on there. Love it. Yeah, this, this is a project that's really just so much fun to do. I just, you know, it's just a labor of love and it, it, it takes a little bit more time, but I love making these projects. I love making these projects. And now I need to, I should have done it maybe before I started. So I... Do, 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 do. <laughs> Only stop, yeah. Da, 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 da. Sorry, this takes a little bit of time, but I want to have those coffee beans on there. They need to be on there. Yep, for picnic, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if, if I go through my dice, I will find so many things that I think, oh, that would be fun and that would be fun. So that's my weekend. Uh, that's why I'm very happy that uh, uh, that somebody spilled the beans from the from that one, so I can work on uh, on my food, uh, on my grocery one. But I love the moving uh, horses to make a horse trailer. Horses, yes. Oh yeah, you can do that.
Oh, I do have a smaller block. Yeah, I actually do have a smaller block. It's not on my table here. Do I have it in hand? I said, you know, I have a long one, but I think that's at the, I don't know, it's at the office. You see, I actually do have a lot of blocks, of course. Where's my other? I think I have most of them at the office now. This is also, I have, a, I like the, I have a small long one. I know I have small blocks here, for sure. Somewhere, but this actually, this, this is already handier. But uh, you're right, but I do have small ones as well. I have a slim long one and I really like that one actually. And don't talk so much. And then and then I noticed as well, I really looked at the truck from Katie. And she's very precise. And she had oh this is not uh, neat enough. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Because she didn't stamp on the front of the truck. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. Oh, that has a nice straight line. Katie, Katie, her work is, she works very, 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 very neat. And that's a compliment. Uh, that's mean, meant as a compliment. <laughs> but her work is like... Almost done. <laughs> no, actually, you know... Uh, B uh, Brooks uh, spent the night here with Mark because they are redoing the bathroom and it was uh, dusty and Brooks actually had a cold uh, he has his uh, so cold, uh, like he has ear infections all the time since he uh, goes to no he actually had it already this time um, a lot of ear infections so he just got a double one double whammy again uh, uh, yesterday so they spent the night here so he could sleep better like not in the dust and uh, yeah and um, so that was fun. And the dogs were here. So not only uh, Mark and Brooks, also the dogs. So that was fun. Oh, aren't you? I can just, you know, that just makes me happy. And that's super cool. I'll stop talking, keep working. Because honestly, so now this one. Oh, what I did with this one, I basically um, cut a piece of four and a quarter, kind of measured this, four and a quarter. And then I took that top piece and I did the same as what I did with uh, with the other one, with the truck itself. So you go in from one side and then you have your strip and then I just uh, take this one and do it there. You see, so from the other side. So you get two rounded edges there on both sides. So now this is going up. Uh, 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 uh. Use tape for that. And I'm going to put it on the truck because that will go over it. Is it wide enough for that? Yeah, that's perfect. Just line it up because I just stamped and tape is easier. Oh, Tom is watching. Tom is also not feeling well. Tom is at home with you, Pink Canada. Hi, Tom. Nice to see you. Hi. Tom, what kind of truck would you like? Would you like a shark truck? Or, oh no, I know which one Tom wants. Cookies. Tom wants cookies and a gumball one. Because it, I, I just got a cookie from the Cookie Monster. Because I thought that would be cool. So turn a gumball, a gumball truck, I think. Tom loves gumballs. No, Annika's, no, Annika's in school. Ice cream truck. Okay, that's also. Awesome. No, Annika's in school. Annika is in school and Tom is uh, home with Opie. Because Josette actually went skiing today. With a friend, so that's cool. So that's that. And then you don't want to go over here because that's the size, of course. So don't let it stick out further. Oh, a gumball truck. That's what I thought. I think a gumball truck, if you do all colored pieces. So this one I'm going to stick on. I'm just going to take a little bit of food for that. Okay, Tom. We need to work on that. We need to work on that. And this one I'm going to glue on, but then I need to cut off the back. Because that's otherwise going to be out of the envelope. Oh, this is the front. Out of the front. And now uh, you see, I'm going to trim off. Like this, I'm just going to cut straight. And this one I can let stick out a little bit. If I want to, again, make it round a little bit. Because the, as long as I don't go any further as the front and then the back. 
Oh, Lego. Oh, that would be fun as well. I'm feeling a bit better and Opie's going to make me pancakes now. Oh, when you can eat pancakes, then you're feeling better. Opie's going to take really good care of you, Tom. You know that, eh? He always does. That's why I'm starving now. Because you always cooks. <laughs> no, I'm not actually doing well. <laughs> so that I'm doing flush. I might take this flush as well because I like it better when it's flush. With the car, I think in this case. Okay, so that's that. And then at middle piece, what I did is I lined up this one, uh, this one, one side, and then this I trimmed a little bit. So I'm just going to do a little bit of glue here. So I had to kind of just round it a little bit. Oh, sorry, this way. So one lines up perfectly, and then this one, I'm just kind of taking my small scissor, my really nice, and you kind of feel, you feel this edge when you go in here. So you kind of feel that edge. So I just kind of go with the edge that I feel with my little scissor. You see, again. And then you have a nice curve, you see, like that. Okay, now uh, I have a yellow light somewhere. Let's put that on first. How am I doing, Katie? Uh, oh, a photo in the window opening. Oh, that will be fun as well. Yeah, and I like the steering wheel idea from uh, Sylvia. <laughs> I challenge you or Sylvia to make a Lego truck. <laughs> yeah, that's how I started to figure out, like, sort out Lego at my sister's place. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Not, not. You cannot do that these days anymore. There's just so many pieces. That's that. Then this one is going at the top. I'm going to uh, take a little piece of tape because I know that fits there. And I like that. I'm going to put it on the back. Getting there, getting there. So I just do a three more piece of tape. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> yeah, I need to have a coffee truck. I think it will be done at one. I need to be done at one because I need to go to the hairdresser. I need to make sure I get in the car because it gives me 10 minutes extra for traffic jams. So I don't know if I get it all done, but this one is going here, so it's the air conditioning units. That's going at the top. So I cannot do the sign at the top because then it's going to be too high. I do have the awnings, and the awning that actually fits when I make it smaller. So that um, I'm going to do the one that just is at the top. Oh, I wouldn't have stamped here because you don't get it there. And I know that it's going to be... Uh, this white, so I'm going to trim this here, and then I'm going, I think I'm not going to do the fold out one, I'm going to see, wait, let's see what I want to do, I'm just trimming this like this, so I kind of can still choose, but I might do the flat one, like this, very poor job in uh, cutting else. Again, round it off a bit. You see, I might think that is too big for that. And I'm going to lay over those red pieces. Just going to see if I do this or just a flat piece. Do, 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 do. Yeah, because it's tiny, I'm just going to do the, um, the flat piece here. So I'm going to take my... Oh, I actually had six there. I had a long one. Did I cut it too short? Oh, this actually fits exactly in the window. Okay. The other one I had. What did I do there then? Oh, okay. You can, oh, wait. You know what I'm doing? Oh, with five, then I have uneven. I like that better, maybe. Because here I edged it. Oh, yeah. Choices, choices. Wait, wait, wait. Just going to trim this. Yeah, popcorn. Yeah, for sure. Popcorn will be fun. Popcorn. Because I just took the flat part there. And then I only trimmed one off. And then it's hanging over a bit. Maybe I'll do that. 
You see that anything? I like that. Yeah, okay. So, and then I'm going to use these pieces to put on there. Okay, uh, or I just edge it. Maybe I'll just leave it red. So no, because I was doing Katie's truck. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Choices. Maybe if I edge this. And I don't know. Let's see. Dutch kermiswagen. Uh, kermiswagen is, uh, how do we call kermis here? Um, fun park. Fun park? No. Different. But you, do, you know this. I can do this. Or I can put the black piece on there. Just a second. Just a second. I could also color black then. Oh, yeah, yeah. Black will be nice. Coloring, I don't like it when you see the strokes, but I think it's black. So that's what I'm going to do. With black, I should be fine. A carnival. Yeah, exactly. Carnival. Thank you. So, and there's an embossed line there, so it's kind of easy to line up. This actually looks nice. That will work out well. Turn it around. Oh, the, the Olos are great, I have to say. I have to say they are working well. I did some flowers already. I tried those. Um... But I don't know if you saw my, uh, co I have a ton of Copics. So that's the only thing. Okay, I cannot get rid of my Copics just because I want new. That is, that's my only. Okay, so that's done. That's good. Okay, so this, this can go, this can go, this can go. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. That's, but I have a whole, uh, I have a whole old Pepsi Cola thing uh, in the back. With uh with my Copics and there's just too many. I cannot just yeah. I don't know. So this one I will just do a little bit of glue here just on the top. Because I only want to have it a tiny bit on that top there. Oh no glue, no glue, no glue. Don't want any glue showing. How cool is that? Such a cool, cool. Okay, so that's that. Am I good? No, oh, oh, else glue, glue, glue. You see, I should have put something there, but that's fine. So that's that one. And now I can um, press it up. Oh, I need two, 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 two. this one. I need this. Oh, I made a window. Oh, yeah, to show you. So what I did already, I did that for an earlier one. Uh, so that's the window and I cut like around it. So I glued it back in with tape. So that's my stencil now to make either a vellum window or a transparency. So in this case it's a transparency. I do use the three mil tape and that will now fit in my window there. I like to have a window. And that's why, you know, I always, things like this, I kind of want to make it as kind of real as possible. And that's why it takes more time but that also makes it fun for me. I have to say. And I might not be able to put all my accessories in. So, um, because I really need to go at one. So this, you see, that fits in here. So now I have a real window, you see. I like that. And then I also, to show you, because I want to show you that. Oh, I need to have the, because that I will lose for sure. If I don't put that on, this one, the little handle. Like there, and the mirror goes on there. That just goes here. You see? So that's the truck. And then what I will do, because it's almost one. So I have all my decorate. Oh, I, I show you one more thing before I, because I'm going to put my coffee cups in there. So just look at Katie's. I actually did have the, I do have this one as well. So that's going in the front. And then I have my table cover the same as Katie. And then I did cut these two 
because I know when you have food in the area, there's always birds try to pick your food. So I thought that would be fun kind of to put here maybe. So a little birdie to kind of steal my food. And then I do have, because I wanted to have those, I think Katie has vellum in there, but I want to have a shelf. So what I did is I cut this one. That's the top of the picnic table. And um, I basically don't need to cut it because I can use that, but I'm going to use that as a shelf in here for in my window where I can put my coffee cup on. You see, and I will post a picture uh, probably tomorrow morning then because I have plans for this afternoon after the hairdresser. But I will absolutely finish that. And then you'll see it. So this one I'm going to glue here behind the window so I can put my coffee on there. So I'm going to put glue here. Like as a rack. Oh, too much. You see, that's always one. And then I wanted to kind of only stick it out a little bit so I can kind of put my coffee and oops okay we have I you never see until you bring out the food we have problems with oh flies oh yeah <laughs> yeah you know we don't have those as much here it's honestly we don't have a lot of flies and I'm going to put it here because I, I thought when I put this here it fits exactly and if I only leave this top sticking out you see, so now I have a little display thing here. And then I can put my uh, coffee cups on there when I'm done. You see, like that. And I will have one on the table. So I'm going to leave it at this because otherwise I get carried away and I will make it. Not make it. It will be too late. It will be too late. But um, what I will do, I will turn my camera around. I will get it out of the stand. And turn my camera around. So I can say goodbye. And then if you look there, you see, you see it there. Well, how can I point out that there in the corner, you see all my Copic. That's a whole case of Copic markers. So that's the only thing why I still think, okay, else be, uh, you know, use those. <laughs> use those first. Because honestly, it's a lot. It's a lot. So uh, I want to thank you all for watching. And I wish you a wonderful weekend. So I cannot wait to be back from everything and work on my uh, finishing my coffee truck. I think it's adorable, Katie. Super fun idea. And I cannot wait to see what you all come up with. I know uh, Sylvia's head will be spinning right now because she has so much great ideas. And um, I will see you on Monday. I will be here on Monday as well. So I'll see you all on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.